So guys, what's going on? Right, so we're looking at a budget microphone. Now, I've done some microphones in the past now where, you know, relatively expensive ones. The one I'm using at the moment is a Blue Yeti. Um, rel not relatively expensive, but not relatively cheap. It's probably in the average 100 to 120 pound mark. But today we're looking at a microphone from a company called Tona. I think it's Tona, it might be Tona, not 100% sure. And this is the TC30, and this is a condenser USB Type-C microphone. So what's going on guys, this is what we're looking at. This is the Tona TC30 USB condenser microphone and it is powered by micro, uh, it is powered by USB Type-C, which is also nice to see. So we do have a few things on the side of the box here. We have the uh, uh, cardioid uh, pattern, we have plug and play clear sound. So this is definitely something what we're gonna be doing is testing this over the Blue Yeti because that's the one I'm using at the moment. So that's probably one of the best ways to get this out. First, we're going to unbox it, see what we've got in the box, see what the supply is, and we'll go from there. So, first off, we do get a user manual. Obviously, self-explanatory. This is going to pretty much tell you everything you know, need to know about the microphone, all the different components, how to actually get it connected up. It is relatively, really easy. And it even shows you on Windows and Mac how to actually get it set up as a microphone, which is also nice to see. Uh, we do get a little card here. It's about um, your key to 100% protection, so it's everything to do with support your warranty, and then little bits about um, exclusive discounts and all that good stuff. And then we have the box itself. So I'm gonna get all this out on the desk and see what we're working with. So ironically, this is all we are working with. So we have the microphone, the boom, uh, the boom head and the stand, the uh, guard, as well as the USB type C. Now it is relatively quite a large cable going on here. So we've got USB to USB type C, which is nice to see. Uh, we do have the guard here, which we're gonna pop on in just a second. So relatively simple. It's got uh, two different fabrics either side of the logo. So this is pretty much going to help you like if you're doing close up microphone use and you use your P's a lot, you know, like the p -p -p sound tends to sound very, very uh, horrendous on a microphone. So that's probably one of the things that I'd look into using because it didn't come with a pop filter. So we get the microphone itself. So this is the condenser microphone. So as we can see logo going on there. They've got more of a black effect going on here as well as the gray. And then we've got the microphone at the top. Uh, so bit of a different style microphone to what we've done in the past, you know, compared to like some of the other ones. Um, but this is definitely one of the, this is definitely one of the smaller microphones I definitely have done. So we have the microphone head at the bottom, then we'll have all the guts of the microphone in here. And then on the bottom here, we do have our USB type C uh, interface that we are going to be using to actually use this microphone. Now the stand and everything in the self is extremely basic. So on the bottom here, we do have three metal legs as well as uh, three little uh, rubber pushings there just so to stop the microphone from sliding around. And then we do have an adjustable head here. So each side of the head does have elastic bands going through and through. This allows the tripod, this allows the microphone, sorry, to stay in there quite comfortably, but also have the ability to move, a to move around a little bit without being damaged. So like I was saying about the boom on there, that just simply does just slide into the port right at the back, all the way to the bottom there, and you are pretty much done. There is your microphone right there. So let's not waste any more time. What we're actually going to do is go over uh, to the other desk and actually test these out. We're going to compare this one to the Blue Yeti and see what we're working with. Okay, so I've got both microphones plugged in, currently running on the Blue Yeti microphone as we can hear. So that is the Blue Yeti microphone actually running at the moment. I have the toner set up down here through OBS Studio. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna isolate the Blue Yeti microphone and go over to the toner and see what we're working with. So I'll do that now. Now I should be talking through the toner. So if we give this a tap, so now I'm actually talking through the toner microphone. So I'm not using too much of a high voice, but I am talking through the microphone to actually see roughly what this sounds like. Now, at the level it's at and due to the tripod, this could be used more for a gaming or a, or a streaming type tripod. If you are continuously gaming, you have the keyboard and the mouse. It is perform uh, predominantly 
in iview so you are going to get more of a community out of it so i definitely recommend if you are a gamer or a streamer especially if you are starting up and you don't have the hundreds or possibly thousands to get microphone gear i definitely would substitute to something like this i'm going to swap back over now yeah, so definitely when it comes to the microphones, it all depends on what you're actually going to be using it for, whether that's recording a YouTube video, recording music or demos, uh, if you're an extreme sport guy, all that good stuff. Microphones play a massive part of when it comes to the content creator or the influencer and all that good stuff. But when it does come to a microphone like this, build quality actually is really nice. I did actually quite like it. You know, when the Blue Yeti is an all metal build and it's got different settings that I don't even use. I still, to this day, don't even know how to use it properly. I'm still demanding, I'm still debating whether to downgrade because I don't fully understand everything there is to know about the microphone. I've only just started as a content creator. I don't know everything there is to know about it. So I make mistakes all the time on my videos, on my audio, and it, it's completely understandable. Maybe when I get used to it and I start uh, ingressing more and more into videos, then yes, I might get a little bit better. But I definitely recommend for the likes of maybe being a, a first time streamer or gamer, this is something that you're actually going to benefit from. It does come in a very standalone uh, cage here going on right there. So versatile is when you've got your keyboard in front of you, the microphone's going to be pointing towards your face and you don't have to worry about it. You plug it in and just leave it. There's no other additional settings that you have to do, but you can run it through OBS Studio or Streamlabs and do it that way. It's pretty much whatever whatever suits you. So I really do recommend you go have a look at it. If you head down the links in the description, there'll be a link there so you can go check it out for yourself.